this food or is this a candle? Hi everyone, my name is Tiana Coates, owner and creator of Winding Wick Candles, and I'm so happy to be a part of Small Biz Day on YouTube and doing this live stream for you guys. I'm so excited and I already see there are some people in the chat. So if you guys are new, I just wanna do a short intro before we get into today's little live stream and demonstration. So my name is Tiana Coates. I'm the owner and creator of Winding Wick Candles. These are very unique candles because they look like food. <laughs> so uh, when a lot of new people come and they see these candles, when I meet them for the first time, they're like, okay, is that food or is this a candle? So it's a really great way to start conversation. So that is just what makes my candles unique. So I wanted to take today to kind of talk, to about, talk about how I got started making these unique candles and we're gonna even do a live demo so I can kind of show you what we do behind the scenes here and show you how we make these candles. So that was just a short intro, but I wanted to go ahead and come into some of these comments because I already see that some people are ordering stuff. So who is this? Uh, Miss Ande, I hope I said that right. It says you just ordered a candle. And I see some people here are subscribers and students of my Candle Biz Academy class. Thank you guys so much. Um, someone said they made their first $1,000 last month. That is amazing congratulations and i'm so glad the class has helped you out um, so candle biz academy is another thing that i do as well and we'll get into that later on so thank you guys for uh live streaming pros <laughs> that looks delicious um thank you guys so much for joining in today so that's just kind of a quick intro so you guys are probably wondering if you're new if you if this, if this is your first time seeing me you're like how did you get into making these crazy candles so i kind of want to show you up close how they look so this is probably our most popular scent strawberry shortcake and when i open it it looks like food but this is totally made of wax um the strawberries are wax the cream is wax so i'm going to show you guys later in the demo exactly how we do all of this but how did i get into making these <laughs> well in 2015 i was at a desk job and I thought this job was going to be like the perfect job for me um, and I was you know working and I kind of realized like I really don't know if I want to do this forever so at this desk job I had a lot of time to daydream and I started thinking about ways I could you know make money for myself or maybe start my own business and I kind of watched YouTube videos and I was getting really inspired by other people's journeys and stories about their small businesses and I started learning how to sell things online and how to create a brand um, so I started a candle business and I landed on candles because I had no other um, creative hobbies at that time. Now I do, I sew, I knit, I make candles, but at that time I had no other creative hobbies. I just knew that I liked making candles. So I said, I'm going to make candles. I had never made one before. So I started learning how to make candles and about a few months into me making candles, I actually quit my job and it wasn't because I was exploding in sales. I actually wasn't getting any sales, but I started getting so passionate about making candles. I was like, I can do this. So I quit the job with really no backup plan, but it actually was a great thing that I quit that job because I found another job that really helped me grow my business. And it was a part-time job that I worked on Saturday and Sunday. And everybody there was super supportive. It was like a little hospital pharmacy job and it allowed me to grow my business. So while I was growing my business from 2015 to now, I worked that job and I just became full-time with Winding Wick Candles last year. So it was definitely many years of hard work and learning. And at the time of me making these candles, there was no videos like how to make these. In 2018, I decided to kind of pivot the business and I went from making regular container candles and I said, I need to create a niche and something that's gonna catch attention, right? So I thought, okay, dessert candles, I've seen them before, but no one was really teaching anyone how to do it. It wasn't something that was very common back in 2018. So. I really had to dive headfirst, figure this thing out, and over the years it just evolved into these dessert candles that you see now. So that's kind of my story in a nutshell, and also on YouTube, I post content on YouTube, so I see some subscribers in here. Um, and let's see, love the shirt, thank you Lisa, I like the candle on the unicorn, yes! Um, this is actually my merch, <laughs> and um, I ruined the very first shirt that I got. But, you know, and I just didn't order another one. So I finally ordered another one so I could show you how cool this shirt is. 
And let's see, ha do you know if anyone has ever taken a bite out of your candles? No one has ever told me that. Um, Gospel Cruise, no one has ever said anything, but they always comment how they want to eat the candles, but I think they know. I put enough labels on here so they know it's not food, but um, so far no one has reported that they've tried to eat, eat the candles. And Creations by Kay, love the kitty in the background, yes, waving hi to all of you guys. So thank you for all of the fun comments. So talking about YouTube and how that grew my, grew my business. So in 2018, I started the YouTube channel. So a lot of you guys are subscribers here. Um, so I've just been posting my journey since then. And that's kind of, you know, how the business has grown. And I love showing the journey behind small business because it's not just, you know, aesthetics. Sometimes there's hardships and sometimes there's awesome things that happen. Like today, I'm just so glad to be here for Small Biz Day. So you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new and you want to see more updates. We actually are in our new retail spot. So that's another new thing that has happened. And it's just so crazy to think about because, you know, back then we, in 2015, I was just, you know, sitting um, at my kitchen making candles. And now we're in a 2000 square foot retail spot. We're going to open a storefront so people can actually come and shop physically for our candles and have fun production studios like this where we can shoot cool videos. So, I'm going to chat with you guys for a bit. We're actually going to get into the demo. So, while we're doing that, I want to ask you guys, what is your favorite dessert? So, put in the chat what your favorite dessert is, and I'm going to turn on some equipment just here on the side. So, my favorite is actually, I'm going to show you my favorite candle, honestly, is this caramel popcorn candle. So the reason I love this, like this is one that I burn all the time. So this is typically like a fall scent, but um, this is like my go-to scent. So this one is sweet, salty, it's like savory, it, it just fills a room, it's really strong, and we have the double wick, so it's you know gonna fill up your rooms. So this one is just my favorite. I'm always burning caramel popcorn. Absolutely love this one. Let's see. Haley says, I'm obsessed with your setup. Yes, so if you guys watched my last video, you've probably seen like a little bit of how I've been setting up in here. And I'm planning on getting like more decorations in the back to make it even more fun. But I have some really cool ideas with this room. So I'm so excited to have this space. And you inspired me to start making a business. Congratulations, Jersey, on your new business. Nothing but success for you and wishing you the best on your little business. And I watch your videos all the time. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> all right, you guys. So let's scroll down. My favorite dessert is strawberry shortcake. I'm so glad you said that, Violet, because I was going to, we're gonna do a few candles, but it's perfect because we have some embed options here. So I'm gonna do strawberry shortcake first. And anyone else watching, if you wanna pick some of these embeds, and then you can kind of put them in the chat and I can make like a little custom candle for you guys on live right now and just have some fun and chat with you all. So we are going to start with strawberry shortcake and someone else said banana pudding. Okay, okay. So we have some good desserts. So let me get everything ready to make a strawberry shortcake candle. Let's do it. So this is the base of our candle. So I will put this back up for you guys if you want to view it again after our demo to pick some embeds. And this is how our candles start off. So we do pour them like a regular candle, but we fill them halfway. And um, this is the base of the candle and everything is scented. So each base will have different um, scents and all that. So this is going to be strawberry shortcake and we are going to get some strawberry embeds just like that. So what's really fun about these is they're completely made of wax. So if you're wondering, okay, how do you make them? We make them out of um, silicone molds. So these are all made from silicone molds and we just put them in, um, they're just candle wax. So, and they look really real. <laughs> so the, the better your mold, the more realistic your, you know, your embeds will look. So we have strawberry short or strawberries on the side, and I'm heating up some whipped topping. So the whipped topping comes like this, you guys, and it looks just like, you know, it looks like piping that you would put on a cake, basically, but I'm gonna heat it up just a bit so that it can 
It's nice and soft, and I'm going to read your comment here. Um, are those wood wicks? They are not wood wicks. These are actually cotton wicks. So our candles are cotton wicks, and it takes, that's another thing I'm going to talk about while I'm making these candles. There is a lot of testing that goes on with um, candles in general, and dessert candles specifically, they are kind of hard to make. It, I mean, it's, it's taken me years to kind of perfect the candle and making sure that it burns correctly and making sure, you know, the scent throw is good for you guys. So um, the best wicks that work for me are these little cotton wicks and they're specific size. Um, so you can't just use any wick in a container. You have to like test different wick sizes. So these are the cotton wicks that we use. I don't make anything as of now with wooden wicks, but that could be something that I do in the future, definitely. But our dessert candles work best with the cotton wicks. All right, I feel like I'm at an ice cream shop, but for candles, Ashley, you are on to something because um, we're actually going to be launching something very similar, similar to what you just said, some type of custom. We haven't kind of, um, this is going to be something for our storefront, but I would love to do some type of ice cream shop scenario where you could come in and pick like the different scoops and kind of make a custom candle. So that's something that we've been testing and I think that would be so cool. But yeah, it's kind of like an ice cream shop for candles. So, yes, the auto wax is almost ready. So I'm just reheating the wax. And <laughs> the um, piping is actually very finicky too when you are working with these candles because of course candle wax eventually hardens back up. So you have to work kind of fast. So I am just going to ready to pipe it's almost ready let's see what do you think creates the best scent throw so this is a really good question so scent throw so when I first started making candles so there's some things about candle making that I just just never crossed my mind as a candle consumer and um, one of the things was scent throw I figured if you I spilled some wax here. So if you make a candle, you put some wicks in it and it automatically smells good, but that is actually far from the truth. Again, a lot of testing goes into it. Um, so as far as scent throw, it depends a lot on the wax you're using and the wick combination and also the vessel. So if your vessel is thicker in diameter, then you will get a better scent throw. So if you try to use a vessel that is smaller, like more narrow, um, then the scent throw is not going to be as big. It's going to be better for like a bathroom or a bedroom. But if you have like a wider diameter container, especially with the two wicks, then that's how you get the better scent throw. So that took me a lot of testing, you guys. So <laughs> I think our candle wax is just about ready. I'm just going to test it in this little container here, making sure it can pipe really good. Wow. We are going to have to... <laughs> tip out while I answer some more questions. Now, so this is a hard part about making candles. Usually with the wax, you want to use it quickly. So what I'm trying to do is heat it off camera so that it kind of remelts again. So it's almost there though. Let's see any more questions here. Love your candles. I appreciate you giving us a view of your candle business. Oh, thank you so much for the nice comment. So we've been testing out this new way to kind of heat the wax just for this live. We tested it yesterday, so well, let's see how it goes. I might need another piping bag. So we are gonna wait for another piping bag. And we're gonna just talk more here about candle making. <laughs> how do you balance your classes with running and manufacturing your business? You guys, let me tell you, thank you for the piping bag. It's kind of difficult. It's, I'm not going to lie. That's one thing that is kind of hard about um, being an entrepreneur, especially when you are first starting out and you're pretty much the only one in the business. Um, so recently I just hired someone, which is the one helping. Sierra is helping us today make this live stream possible. But um, I've had to learn a lot about productivity kind of and just making sure that, you know, uh, 
using the best of my, using the, the time that I have available to the best of my ability and making sure that um, everything that I need to do is kind of like schedule. So I've gotten better at like productivity, um, scheduling things, um, and coming up with plans of action. So those are things that, it is definitely still hard and still a challenge, but those things really help when you kind of have a plan for everything. So now we're back back in business. Let's see. Oh, I think we're ready to pipe. So we're going to make our strawberry shortcake here. And we're going to go back to the close-up and make our strawberry shortcake. Now I'm going to start with strawberry and veg, and I'm just going to put some in there. And we're going to just pipe it on like so. This wax could even be a little bit uh, softer. I'm going to just stick it in here again for a bit. So usually I have to work really fast with this piping, you guys. And that's one of the challenges with um, candle making, dessert candles. All right. Is Candle Biz Academy coming soon? It is. So... One thing that I'm doing with Candle Biz Academy is I'm going to be revamping a lot of the courses, so or a lot of the videos. So that was one thing about the production room that I really wanted to nail down was the revamping the courses, uh, the lessons in the course. So that's something that I'm going to be working on before we do production or before we run Candle Biz Academy again. Alrighty. I think we might just have to switch colors here. This uh, pink one's not working too well with us, but we will keep going and see if it works out. Let's try again. All right, you guys. The pink one is not wanting to cooperate. I think we're going to go with this fuchsia color. I like this one, and we'll see if this one cooperates, and we'll have a little fuchsia pink moment in this candle. So also, we're going to be doing a sale today. So if you purchase from us today, you can use the code, I believe it is smallbiz10. It's pinned in the chat. So you can use that code if you want to shop any of our candles, our dessert style candles today. And it's only good for today, so if you want to order anything, you might want to do that today so you can take advantage of the code. for candles. It is very difficult. And we actually tried this yesterday and everything just went so smoothly. But of course, when you're live, of course, things are going to happen. Um, but what we're using and the thing about making dessert candles, there's actually no specific tools, which is also another difficult part. There's no specific tools for dessert candles. So anytime I need to do something like, you know, heat up my wax, what I'm using right now is actually a facial steamer because there's no real tool that's gonna help you heat up the wax. And that's another thing that I came across when making dessert candles, that you kinda have to improvise a lot because again, it's just, I don't know why. I feel like um, dessert candles have been around for a while, but apparently we just don't have enough tools to kinda make it happen. chat and then let's see I purchased the orange blossom candle and I'm excited can't wait awesome so I'm gonna refill this little heater back with some water all right orange blossom is one of our new scents so that one is like it's floral and citrus all put together and I really really like that one so orange blossom is a good one. 
All right, I'm determined to make this demo happen for you guys. So while we're getting everything ready, let's see what we got here. So I'm gonna talk about some stories when I first started making candles, some funny stories. So earlier I talked about how candle making is just not as easy as you think it is. Obviously we're seeing it right now live. So making candles, when I first started, I had no idea about wicks and how to size wicks for different containers. I really thought you just throw wicks in, you know, throw wicks in the container and call it a day. But honestly, when I first started, I remember I was working with wax. I think it was soy wax, but this really was just my fault because I didn't wick the container correctly. And so I wicked the container and I was like, okay, we're gonna test it out. And so I left it in my room to test it. And when I came back like an hour or so later, the room was just filled, like my furniture was covered in soot. It was crazy. And then I learned like, okay, it's not as easy as it seems. So that leads me into just talking about candle safety and just candles in general are not as easy to make. You know, when you're a consumer, you think you just light it and go. But honestly, when you're making candles or when you're burning candles as a consumer, you really want to make sure that you are trimming the wicks and only keeping it lit for about four hours or so at a time. So not only with our candles, but any candle, you need to trim the wick before you light it. And it's after selling candles for many years now, I realized that not a lot of people knew about it. And even Sierra, when she started working with me, she had no idea you were supposed to trim candle wicks. So, I like to make it a point to tell the customers and anybody, not just our candles, but any candle you light, please trim the wick. Because first of all, it's safer that way. Um, you're not going to have a crazy candle fire by leaving your wicks too tall. And um, it's going to help your house not be covered in soot. So <laughs> candle safety, and I learned that very early on. Let's see if there's any more comments. I've watched every video. I admire you and I'm so proud of your success and accomplishments. Thank you, Creations by Kay. That is so nice. Like one of the reasons I love posting on YouTube is just because meeting people and just the community on there has just been so nice. And it's, I think it's really been the main reason that I have been able to get so far is just because chatting with you guys and seeing all the encouragement, um, it really does help. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go. What is your favorite wax for dessert candles? Um, for dessert candles, I like to use paraffin wax. And the reason for that is because um, there's less of what you call frosting. So when you're using soy wax, uh, you can have like some kind of frosting on a jar, which is totally normal and totally like okay. It's not a, a defect or anything. So if you ever get a soy wax candle and you see like these little crystals, that is perfectly fine. But for dessert candles, I kind of want the color to look, um, you know, cohesive throughout the candle. And I think using the paraffin really helps uh, to make everything look more like food. So that is what I use for my dessert candles. Um, let me see here. Uh, cold process soaps, piping cold process soaps, because I can imagine how hard it is to pipe melted candle wax, yeah. It is, maybe you can design a tool line. I know, right, and like all of these things, even when I teach my students, I tell them all of these tricks of um, things that I use that aren't typically made for candles just because there are no tools for this specific type of candle making. Now, if you're doing like regular candles where you're just pouring them, there are quite a bit of things and tools and stuff. But for dessert candles specifically, there just really isn't anything. And um, like I have all these tools and I just call them certain names. Like this is like my pokey thing, does this. And there's no like correct terminology for these things that I kind of make to make this all happen. So, um, the shelf in the back, we can see you have some awesome dessert candles. If you have a dessert making class, I would love to join. That's awesome. We've been making orange blossom melt. So we are going to expand the melt line just a little bit more. So we'll have more melts and all of that stuff. I just watched a DIY melt and pour candle tutorial with Dollar Tree Candles. I felt so disrespected. Candle making is really a science. It really is. Aw, thank you, Violet, for ordering your candle and wax melts. I really do appreciate it. 
And Mora says, what are your favorite candles? So my favorite candle is the caramel popcorn. I also love the cinnamon bun candles. Those are great too. So I like anything that has like spices and um, those are my go-to spices and dessert candles. I'm going to be expanding the line because I know there are people who are not really into dessert candles like my best friend. She doesn't really like my candles because she does not like food scents. So I'm gonna start appealing to people who like more of those fresh, calm scents. We do have one and it's called, um, Splish Splash, which this one is really nice because it is a lavender and vanilla, and there's little duckies in it, but I'm gonna do a close-up later on of all of these other candle scents. And let's see here. All right, so don't forget, you guys, if you are gonna order, if you do like some of these candles, to use the code um, smallbiz10 pinned in the chat on the side you get 10% off only for today and I think we are um, Sierra is working behind the scenes we are going to try to do at least one demo candle for you guys because yesterday we had so much fun doing this um, practice run and I really wanted to show you guys the piping of the wax and all of that stuff so we'll just keep the chat going and let's see here so some of you guys are asking a lot of questions about candle making and candle classes. So Candle Biz Academy is something that I started because of YouTube. So I was getting a lot of questions about um, how to start a candle business and how to make these dessert candles because again, there is not just a ton of information. A lot of the stuff that I'm learning is just stuff that I'm having to test and figure out for myself. So Candle Biz Academy is something I started last year and it teaches people not only to make dessert candles, so all of my students don't just make dessert candles, but they also make you know, regular pour, uh, container candles and they have their own niches and their own brands. And um, one question I get a lot is, you know, are you scared to teach other people the craft? And absolutely not because, like I said, there's so many different personalities, so many different ways to create a candle product. Some of my students, they make like, um, magical themed like um, fantasy themed candles and their whole brand is fantasy themed with like dragons and castles on the labels and uh, some people are more minimalist and some people love the luxury and the bling and all of that stuff so there are so many different options when it comes to candle making so I am not afraid at all to teach other people I think it's really fun and I have had just some great relationships with all of the students um, in the course and it's just been a blast so uh, that's another thing I do and I know some of you guys are asking about that but we are going to be revamping and everything Candle Biz Academy and uh, let's uh, see any more questions here do you have a certain candle you recommend as a gift for a friend so I would say first of all you have to figure out what your friend likes so do they like dessert candles because like I said my friend doesn't like dessert candles so it just depends if you do, um, one of our popular ones is the strawberry shortcake. So the strawberry shortcake candle is one that a lot of people like to um, buy, but one that I noticed a lot of people like is the coffee candle. So the coffee candle is one um, that uh, people like to give as gifts for coffee lovers. So this tends to be one that people like as a coffee lover gift. So I'm gonna do a close up here of that one. I'll just put it here so you guys can see. But this candle is, um, the coffee beans are actually made of wax. So coffee beans are made of wax and it, it's a nice coffee scent. So the coffee candle is a really great one. All right, and let's see here. I love watching you while I work. Can you go live more often? So that is definitely something that I'm gonna be doing more often. And that's one of the things that for, you know, the channel, the production room, we were actually just talking about it earlier, some ways that we can go live and just make it more fun and interactive. So I'm so excited to do more live streams and um, all of that stuff, but we are going to be going live more often. So Sierra just spent some time, she's like manning the camera and all of that stuff, and then she got us some wax ready so we can hopefully do at least one little demo here. So thank you, Sierra, for all of that. But this one's working a lot better. So okay, let's finish off this strawberry shortcake candle. We are gonna do this, you guys. So when I'm piping the candles, you can see there, it 
just pipes on like that. And we are just going to, <laughs> it is just not working with us, you guys. We're going to skip the piping tip and we are just going to make a mess. <laughs> this demo is just not working for us, okay? We're just going to, you guys have a picture. You guys get the idea. I'm going to show you one that actually looks pretty and one that's done. <laughs> The beauty of going live, right? So let's look at our pretty candles. So someone was asking about um, nice gift candles. I think this one's a really great gift. This is the Splish Splash candle, okay? And this one is vanilla and lavender scent. And this is probably a really good baby shower one because it kind of reminds me of like baby shower vibes. And we have the rubber ducks and those are made from wax as well. So everything in this candle is made from wax. And this is a nice calming scent, so it's not, it's still kind of food, I guess, because there's vanilla involved, but this one's really nice. So this one's a lavender and vanilla scent. All right, hooray for more lives. I'm so excited for more lives, you guys. So let me show you another popular one, which is cinnamon bun. So this is another favorite of mine, cinnamon bun. And look at those, aren't those cute? Got the little cinnamon buns in there, and this is just like I said, like um, vanilla, and it has that spice, that cinnamon, and that bakery touch. It smells like I just opened it. It smells like bread. I love it. Um, and you guys have loved the orange blossom. So a couple of you have asked about the orange blossom. So this one's new. Um, let's see. Live streaming pros. Is that a rubber ducky? <laughs> yes. So we have here. And these little orange slices so this one is very floral and that again if you're not into those heavy bakery scents this one's really good it has um, I'm smelling it right now it almost even has jasmine in it um, orange citrus a citrus scent comes through and then there's like a flower scent which is the jasmine so this is the orange blossom candle let's see another one that does really well is a fruit cocktail so this one's fruity. This one's going to be on the sweeter side. So yeah, it almost smells like a like a drink that you would get kind of poolside, I guess. It has um, coconut, oranges, strawberries, pineapples, and look at that. We've got the fruit cocktail candle. Loving it. And the last one I'll show you guys on my shelf is cinnamon chai. So this is another popular one. So if you have someone that really loves um, that spicy chai scent, or if you love, if someone loves like Starbucks or something, this one smells like just a really calming, like spicy, you can smell the chai really well. And this is another strong candle. So this is the cinnamon chai candle. So those are just a close up of some of the candles we have here. And thank you guys again. Oh, I gave that Splish Splash candle to my cousin for her birthday. Wait, let me read the comment. I'm going to pass it up. Uh, they absolutely loved it. Yay! So that is a good gift candle. I was right. <laughs> so um, Splish Splash is a great gift candle, especially like for birthdays or baby showers. So I'm glad they loved it. They really need to invent technology to transmit scents through the screens. I know, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Like a... A scratch and sniff kind of situation they look good enough to eat yeah they do look like food so that's why like whenever I sell in person people get so confused and like with me opening the retail shop I'm like I need to have some kind of actual you know little candy or snacks in here like maybe a candy shelf because I don't want people to come in thinking that it's food and disappointed that there's no food here so I plan on doing like little you know prepackaged little snacks or something little check out at the at the checkout counter so that I can at least get food if they actually came in here thinking that this was food. How do you come up with your scent combinations? How do you decide which fragrance oils to mix? So usually when I'm coming up with a new design, I like to just take a look at all the scents I have first. So I'll look at the scents and then that sparks the idea for a new design. So I usually go scent first and then design. Um, sometimes if I have a crazy idea, then I'll kind of mix things together. Uh, I'm not the best at mixing fragrances. I know that it's like a, a very, it's like a science to mix a fragrance and get the top notes, the middle notes. And I know a lot of people, um, 
you know, those people who get paid to make like perfumes and stuff, that takes a lot of skill. So I'll typically at, at most, I'll mix like two scents together. Um, but usually I'll just buy the bottle and if it's like a strawberry shortcake, then I'm like, okay, strawberry shortcake. But sometimes if I really have that inspiration hit, then I'll kind of make my own scents. Thank you guys so much for all the questions and interaction. So <laughs> thank you guys for tuning into the live stream. I had so much fun talking to you guys and uh, I hope to do more live streams. Like this is so much fun and um, the production room is coming along and I just, I just had so much fun doing this, you guys. So dessert candles and let's see, any other questions here? Um, those are the cutest candles, love the creativity. And that's one thing about dessert candles. When I first started making candles in 2015, I just used to do the um, container candles, which a lot of people do that, and you can still make a really cool brand with regular just container candles. I've seen some of the coolest brands, like uh, candle brands, and they just have the container candles, but it's all about the branding and the way they present the candle. So for me, the dessert candles, um, I really like that because I can just kind of get creative. And if you've ever seen my channel, typically I try to do this. I used to do it a lot more often, but I'll make these huge, like six pound crazy candles called mega candles. And I'll typically do it for Halloween because that's my favorite holiday, honestly. And they're just these wild candles and I can just combine all of my skills of like piping, um, sculpting, you can sculpt stuff out of wax. and. It's just so much fun for me to create these really fun designs. And I like to call myself like the Willy Wonka of candles that I would love just to have a candle store and people come in on the weekends or something and see a big, huge um, candle creation that, you know, typically you don't see those type of candles when you walk into like retail candle stores. So that's one reason I love dessert candles just because of the creativity that comes along with it. What's the green and red candle? Did I miss it? So I didn't show you guys this yet because it's not on the website. So I didn't want to tease you guys, but this will be on the website um, pretty soon. We just have to take product photos. So this is the watermelon candle. So we're, I think we're going to call it watermelon crush. So this has little watermelon pieces and this smells more of like a candy watermelon, that kind of smell. So uh, it definitely smells like a bubblegum kind of watermelon, uh, but that's this candle here our watermelon candle coming soon. Oh, so someone said you should ask the fans what scent they want to see next. Okay, so that's a good question and thank you Mark for that suggestion. What candles do you want to see next? So put it in the chat and we will definitely make note. Some of these candles have been um, requested. So the peach candle, which is not up on my shelf, but it's on the website now. We have a, a candle that I just launched called Dress Peachy. And that candle was actually requested by somebody, a few different people. So we finally did put it out and Sierra got the candle for us. So this is the Just Peachy candle. And this was a requested one. So let's see. We shouldn't, uh, we wouldn't think you would need signs not to eat candles, but I caught my daughter licking the sprinkles on my donut waxes. I was like, girl, <laughs> you gotta watch the kids because you know, some of them can't read yet. So they really do think it's food. But my, my son, he, he knows by now that it's not food. So he knows what's candles and what's food he's for. But for the most part, you know, people don't eat the candles and um, I haven't had any issues with that yet but this Just Peachy Candle is on the site, and this one smells really good. It's, um, it just smells like fresh peaches. It smells like peaches that you would just get off of a tree. It's not very sweet, um, and it's really nice. So this is the Just Peachy Candle. So this is good for people if you don't like heavy dessert candle scents. I need the watermelon candle, yay! So that one will come up probably within the next week or so. The watermelon candle and the fruit cocktail that one smells amazing it sure does so thank you all for being so active in the comments this has just been so much fun and again i'm just going to thank you guys who have already purchased we were so surprised when we already saw purchases coming in before we even went live so thank you guys so much for all of the support 
And also, if you are new or small biz day, there's other shops, there's other small businesses being featured. So please check out all of the other cool um, small businesses that are being featured today. And I'm also going to be on a panel. So that one's already up and running. You can watch that right after this one if you want. So I'm on the panel with Erin On Demand and Cassie Ho. And we talk about using YouTube to build your small business. So uh, you can check out that panel and I will, it should be in the description down below. So, and you can check out my Shopify site. So windingwithcandles.com, that's also in the description if you wanna check out some more products. But thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I really had so much fun here going live with you guys today. And please check out all of the other small businesses on the Google Small Biz page. But I will go ahead and see you guys later and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.